Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hi, Makangsha. So in this video, you've read the title already. We are going to talk about Raksha's bridal uh, shower. Now, initially, when I hosted it, I actually tried vlogging it, but it, I failed. I had a lot of things to do that day, so I ended up not vlogging. So in my mind, I was not going to post it. So when you see the video, keep that in mind because everything is mostly vertical format, so you will not have your full screen filled. Um, but um, since the wedding season is here, um, I thought like I will post it so that it's useful because when I posted a reel on Instagram, everybody was asking me about uh, deets and all. So I thought I'll post it and tell you how and what I did for Raksha's, Raksha is basically my best friend, for her bridal shower. So let's get into it. Yeah. Let's start off with the location. Now, when I wanted to give a bridal shower, I wanted a very, um, you know, aesthetic, pretty, but also like a party because, you know, uh, Raksha is leaving. Like we did have a bachelorette. Bachelorette also I hosted in this house. Can you imagine we had like 40 people in this house? But that's another, you know, thing. But for bridal shower, I wanted it to be very aesthetic, but also fun party stuff. So I wanted it to be like a sundowner, sunset kind of thing. Going into the night, we can chill party as well. So for location, I chose like a resort or a villa and this one thing was a collaboration i i, I found that real, that place really nice i thought i can you know set a set up there and everything so we call, i collaborated with ragala um resort and uh, it's like one hour from hyderabad it's like a staycation so we went there i'm actually very late but um uh, are giving i am giving raksha a bridal shower let's go Second was decor. Now decor is the place where I spent the most money. So um the decor around costed me 20,000 and that was like a really high amount. Now, if you find somebody cheaper, then you can definitely do it. But I always get my any like decor done from this uh, events company, which is called Forever Events. And they always come through. They do what I want and they do well. But that was around 20K. So the decor was the most expensive one. I took Pinterest uh, inspiration from here and there and I sent the person and we curated everything together. I wanted it to be extremely girly, very fast feminine so we went with like a lot of pink and white and um, of course it was bridal shower so we were like missed to misses and all those things which i think the, uh, turned out really really cute i also asked them for cake stands because we didn't have plan to like you know get a cake cut and everything as well so everything this they have done and it was basically like a sunset high tea Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, to you. Happy birthday dear Raksha! Happy birthday to you! Guys, no birthday feel on our birthday bro. Eat. Next was food. Now for food, uh, because the theme or my concept was high tea, I obviously had to like serve all high tea food items. And um, now I did find out from a lot of places like they have high tea menus like Fonzo and all, but it was getting too expensive it was getting like 2000 per two people or one people i don't remember and for food alone it was costing around 15 to 18k so i was like this is not happening and i cannot you know spend so much money because already like you know the decor was so expensive and the food did not it did not make sense to spend so much money on the food so uh what i did was i went to van lavino it's one of my favorite cafes one in financial district and i love the food okay so i had to do some jigad and i i thought i'll just go find out like you know what i can do and um, that was like the best decision because the entire food got over in like 4,000. Uh, let's say like overall with other things, like food was done in like 5,000. So um, the manager there was very cooperative. We went and ordered 
I basically wanted everything like Haiti is known to have like mini sandwiches, mini burgers and everything and croissants and all so I ordered everything individually so like uh, other Haiti things generally have like a big menu which they serve everything together like with tea and everything but in my Haiti we just do not have tea but we had everything else so I added uh, like we ordered big sandwiches and we asked them to uh, cut in between avocado club sandwiches if you go to um, Van Lavina the veg ones you have it they are amazing so we ordered a lot of veg non-veg sandwiches and we got them cut and we made them like small small um you know sandwiches usually they don't serve mini burgers in the cafe but we asked for mini burgers and they did give us so we ordered like mini chotu burgers then we i bought croissants we bought cupcakes so all these individually did not cost us much because we just took whatever is necessary and overall it just costed like i told four thousand or five thousand and that was the best decision ever and the food was so nice everybody really really loved it and like we finished everything nothing got wasted Sweet, yes. We are at Van uh, Lavino collecting food for Akshar. Now, batch right now, so bright and shower. Are you sure? That's it. That's it. Next, we had to get um, uh, cutlery. So, you know, obviously, uh, cutlery and all from, from the uh, decor people was costing us a lot more. Uh, so, I decided I'll go buy one. So, IKEA, I went and I got these a uh, set of 6 plates, set of 12 plates for hardly 500 rupees and even the champagne glasses. Now, everything had to be really aesthetic and everything, right? So, we um, did that. Now, I, because uh, renting them was actually costing us more, like 4,000 extra just for that. Which does not make sense. If I buy plates, I can use it for some other occasion as well so i just went ahead and uh, bought it now last one was figuring out what games to play now we wa i wanted it to be like a fun nice games night as well and obviously bridal shower we wanted it to be a little nice intimate so we played a couple of game one i did buy that whiteboard you see right there that i actually bought on the bridal shower day only we wanted to play pictionary and also um, you know we draw images and people guess uh, no matter what it is the word the color anything you do like i we had that was one game Famous in a way, huh? Antina. Grey. Brush. Coconut tree. Oh, ho. eyebrow pencil. Mascara. Spooly. Color the Sir, see, I don't know what you're doing. I'm not going to Grey. Palm tree. Autumn. Orange. Where are you? Where are you? What tree is it? 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 Orange. Lotus. Lotus stem. Lotus. हार्ट <laughs> 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 रक्षा and we did not write our name like we just had to write an incident or a line or anything raksha and you uh, have like a core memory on and she had to guess who that person is so i let's say like i have this very core memory with raksha like on a scooty singing songs so i just wrote like you know uh, um, on uh, on scooty you driving and we singing this song and uh, there's no name but she reads it and then she'll guess who that person is um, i thought it was really fun for her it was so easy she guessed all the names of course 
uh, everybody was really close to her whoever were there were just like 8 to 10 people and it was super cute read out loud hari ne ఫ్రాక్ష <laughs> Uh, during the bridal shower it was such a fun night like later the groom vagera also came and joined us you must have seen um in the uh, reel and uh, yeah it was a fun night so hopefully um that helps you plan a bridal a uh, shower you don't have to like go to a place and give it you could have you can easily give this like in your balcony if you have a big balcony in your lawn or in your house so that you don't have to spend money for like a location and for decor if you can find somebody who does it cheaper then great because my major chunk of amount uh, went for decor only rest like food and all was um, not so much so but yeah i think um, it went uh, cute raksha really loved it as uh, uh well i really wanted to do something special because um, it's my best friend's marriage and she loves like everything really nice cute aesthetic and stuff like that and we got really cute pictures also stay tuned i've not posted those pictures yet um so yeah that was raksha's bridal shower and again apologies for everything being in vertical because honestly like i told you we've not planned on it being like a vlog but i just thought i'll post so that it's helpful for you guys so yeah that's about it thank you so much for watching i will see you guys in my next one bye